Hi, my name is John. I'm an automation engineer. And I want to teach you a couple things on how to use times. In this video, I want to talk about story forks. Story forks are when you take a times workflow, split it into separate branches, execute actions in each of those branches at the same time, and then bring all those branches back together to create a singular execution path further along in the story. Let's check it out. Jumping into the story, I have this kickoff event that I want to start with. This kickoff event has a value of a domain that I know is malicious. Let's say I want to analyze this domain in two different services, virus total and URL scan. I want to get the verdicts for each of those services. And then I want to bring the verdicts together into a single event. Let's see how it's done. So where I'm going to start is I'm going to start with search URL scan. Search URL scan for a domain. Let's get that on there. I want to do the same thing with virus terminal. Search for a URL in virus total. And let's link this up. So this will create my story fork. Now I have two branches that will be executing. And when I start one kickoff, I will end up with events in each of them. So when I started off with one event, and now I've created two. Let's fill in the rest of this data. So search URL scan for a domain. I want to fill it in with kickoff.value. So I'm going to search URL scan for that domain. And then I'm going to do a search URL in virus total. And we're going to replace the resource with kickoff.value. When I write kickoff again, go to each API. And now I've searched URL scan for that domain. And I have one result. URL scan is a little funny in that it will return me the URL that I need to go grab the result. So I'm going to say retrieve URL scan, retrieve a result. I'll link this up, go back to my builder. I'm going to replace this URL with the info that I received from my initial call. That looks like the right URL. And in virus total, I received four positives for this domain. So that's good enough for me as, as a verdict. I'm going to run this again. Retrieve result in URL scan. Verdicts overall malicious. Great. So now I want to bring these events back together to create a singular execution path. I'm going to drag, drag on a new event transform. I'm going to say build results. I'm going to say verdict. I'm going to link this up. And then I'm going to reference retrieve results, body, data. It's not your data. Verdict. Overall. Do it overall. There we go. We'll do score. It's definitely, it's a 100. So that's a good score. I'm going to actually copy those results and I'm going to duplicate it over on this branch as well. The verdict for URL scan or for virus total. Let's get where that is. We'll just go with positives for this example. So body positives. Get this period here. So we have four positives there. So there's a handy thing that we can do at times is that when we name actions, the, the same thing, we create two events with the same event payload, even across different branches. Where this comes uh, in handy, is so we're going to drag on a new action and we're going to make this an implode action. 
implode is going to be the method that we bring together these two branches again. So we're going to do link all of this up. We're going to say the GUID path. So this is a unique identifier to join up these two events. I'm just going to go with kickoff dot value. So I'm going to merge the events based on the same domain name. For the size path, I have, uh, I have two branches. So I'm going to say I should be expecting two events. And for an item path, I'm going to do build results dot verdict. Rename this action consolidate branches. All right. I'm going to run this. So I've gone through both chains and now I have an event kind of consolidated branches. I want to go and view the event. I've now re returned both the verdicts from virus total and from your oil scan and I have their numbers and I can add an additional data here, but now I have a singular event further to work with on my workflow, uh, from these two branches. So I've brought both of those two workflows back together. And that's how you do story forks and times. And that's it for this video. Feel free to check out some of our other ones for some more tips. See ya.